there are other things as well but the main reason is comparison you're really comparing yourself with a lot of artists and it's not bad in itself but what's going on guys welcome back to my youtube channel how is everyone doing today i hope you're all having a great day and in today's video i'm just going to be talking about a couple of reasons why i feel like you should be sharing your art i've noticed that whenever i tell a lot of people to leave links to their portfolio or leave links down to their instagram handles below in the comment section i always notice some people saying uh they're not ready or they don't feel like their art is good enough and sometimes they'll leave their instagram handles and then they'll say something in the line of please my art is not up to par uh my work is not great please don't be harsh and you know things like that that will just make you feel a little bit less of an artist and as for me i feel like that is kind of a wrong way to approach sharing your work online i know that this is a really touchy subject because a lot of artists and especially beginner artists have not gone through that process of making a lot of art and failing and growing that mindset of having to fail to see progress to see growth in your art and for them to put their works online and start sharing their works on social media forums where other artists are they feel really pressured and really demotivated and overwhelmed when it comes to putting your work in a place where a lot of different artists are sharing their works and some of these artists might be you know 10 years into drawing 10 years into painting they have so much experience for you to compare your art especially for you that just starting out for you to compare your art with their own is really really it's not possible i mean come on so things like this really cause artists to not want to share their work especially that feeling of i'm not good enough so here's a tricky question how then can you tell if you're good enough if you keep on asking yourself i'm not good enough and your key you keep on making that excuse telling yourself you're not good enough so that's why you're not going to post your art online when will you become good enough to post your art online do you think you're going to know will you automatically just have a vision in your head and to tell you you're good enough how i approached it myself was when i figured out my art was not good enough and how i figured that out was i posted online and i got a lot of feedback especially when you have art friends so your friends can and always will be willing to tell you if your art is good or if your art is bad so after posting some of my works online i got some feedback and i also sent a, a bunch of my art to different people that i felt could help me and i was in a group where there were a lot of different artists so it was easier for me to figure out if i was improving or not so for artists who are not in any groups or who don't have art friends i feel you really need to be posting your work online so you can find artists similar to yourself or artists that are trying to grow as well with their craft improve their works you're going to find them somewhere you're going to find them online and you guys can become friends it's 2020 it's very easy for people to become friends I mean just take a look at this my youtube channel and i'm connecting with a lot of people in different countries in different parts of the world and it's really easy to build a friendship just from using the internet just from sharing my work talking about how i feel and trying to help each and every other person grow so i feel like you really need to be sharing your work online and especially when you're trying to make your art a career especially when you intend to make profit off of your art or if you intend to join a studio or if you intend to make some freelance build yourself a brand make your name marketable you really need to be posting your work online so first things first is you should figure out the different art forums you can post your work so for any beginner artist i will even discourage posting on instagram in the first place i would prefer you start posting off in deviant art where there's a lot of artists that are posting their works there and there's a lot of there's more of an art community on deviant art compared to instagram and 
I feel like it's easier for you to connect and find other artists similar to yourself, trying to improve, trying to grow their craft, right on deviant arts before you can begin posting your work on Instagram. Now, art station is even out of the question because when you go on art station, all the images that you're seeing look really finished, polished. These are proper professional images that are made for games and all that. So for you to just come on there and start posting studies, posting your little scribbles, sketches, it just won't make any sense. So I would suggest you start posting on DeviantArt, build your community there. There are a ton of different groups you can join that will help you improve, you can learn from and meet other artists. Just start posting off there and then you can gradually begin posting some of your work on Instagram. And when you have done a lot of studies and you've built your work to where you know you can begin to apply for jobs or if you have jobs that are reaching out to you if you have clients reaching out to you for freelance studios reaching out to you to make images for them then you can also begin to post your work on art station because that means that there's a certain level of um decency there's a certain level of expertise and skill in your work which is why you're getting people wanting to pay you for that work and even if you are not getting work or you're not getting clients and all that or if you are not you don't want to um if you just prefer to do work for yourself i f- i still feel you can post your art on art station especially when you're nailing the fundamentals in your work you're nailing your lighting your colors your composition all these things are really important especially when you want to share your work to a lot of people and if it's fan art, that will even make you way much more important than you that you nail all the basics that make an image really good. And once you've nailed all this and you start sharing your work online, definitely, definitely you're going to see a lot of feedback, suggestions, and just you're going to see growth in your art profiles, in your career and all that, especially when you're sharing your work on different art websites. And another thing you might want to do is aside from having all these social media outlets to share your work, I'll suggest you should also have a website where you can host just your work. So take for instance, if a studio reaches out to you or someone reaches out to you and they want to see your work and you send them a deviant art link or an art station link they might end up seeing a ton of different other artists that are really good too and they might end up going with another artist but if you send them a website where it's just your artwork they are only going to be looking at your art so definitely they know that uh they're going with this guy unless they really really want your art then it's really fine it doesn't make any difference but it all boils down to you your own preference and what you intend to do where you intend to share your work but really having just a website is also professional and using just your art station as a website is also professional as well it just depends on really what you want to do now if you're still feeling like you're you're not good enough or your work is not good enough or you just don't have that confidence that that urge to show your work i'll suggest you Pretty much share your work with your friends. Share your work with your friends who are artists. That's if you have friends that are artists that, or if you're in an art class, you're an art student and you have other artists around you, I think you should share your work with them and ask them what they think. So you can pretty much get feedback from people that are close to you, people that you see every day. So that way you're not feeling um, overwhelmed you're not feeling pressured because you're getting feedback from people that you've never seen in your life you've never heard from i feel if you send your work out to your friends and ask for feedback it, the feedback you get from them wouldn't hurt as much as when you're seeing someone randomly online and it's saying your art is bad so i think that's something that you can start out to do and once you start doing this and you're getting feedback you immediately want to start trying to improve your work trying to focus on what the person who gave you the feedback what he's saying if he's making any sense he's noticing your mistakes and pointing them out then definitely i suggest you start trying to nail those particular mistakes that 
you're being shown and pretty much making sure that you're taking all the good criticism and putting in your best effort to improve with each image that you make and with each image that you send out for criticism or to your friends to just help you take a look at it and see if you're improving from your previous work so that's really the idea behind overcoming this feeling this pressure of um having your work not good enough it's it's really just comparing yourself with other people and that's what's making that's what's making you feel like you're not good enough in a way there are other things as well but the main reason is comparison you're really comparing yourself with a lot of artists and it's not bad in itself but you really have to overcome this and understand where you might want to use comparison to improve instead of allow it to just control how you feel and let it decide whether you will want to create an online presence with your art or not anyway that's my little rant for today i hope this helps someone out there and uh, i made a video talking about motivation last week if you haven't seen that video i'll suggest you go check it out there were some nuggets there that you might want to use especially during this period where everyone is just feeling down and hope you have a good day you have a good weekend if you enjoyed this video if you learned something from this video please leave it a like and subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new here and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out